Greetings, good morning, and how y'all doing? I am in one of the most special sea islands on the coast, southeast coast of the United States in South Carolina. I am on St. Helena Island. And one of the reasons this is such a unique place is because of all the sea islands from Hilton Head to, to Kiowa Island and all the barrier islands and so forth, this particular island has incredible history and incredible culture. I am standing in front of the old original Penn School. And what the Penn School was, was the first school in America to help the freed black Americans that were freed during the Civil War. In 1862, before the Emancipation Proclamation, Union troops came this area, Port Royal, and they freed all these slaves in this area. And in St. Helena Island, there was about just under 10,000 freed slaves. And I'm sure they kind of sat around and said, okay, what do we do now? Well, what happened, word had gotten out that there's a substantial amount of freed slaves here. What can be done to get them to assimilate into, I guess, the free American culture. Some Quakers, some missionaries from the state of Pennsylvania came down here, and this was the first school that they built. It's called the Penn School. And this whole area, I kind of walk around a little bit here on St. Helena, was designed to help these free Americans how to uh, assimilate and, and, and make a living in uh, this part of the country. And what they taught here was, because uh, they couldn't read and they couldn't write, was reading, writing, and other things that they taught them was some trades, for example, on, on how to do carpentry work, cobbling to make shoes, things that they could do to uh, take care of themselves. Now, one of the things that they knew how to do the slaves here, obviously they knew how to tend the land. They knew how to fish, which they still do today in a lot of the customs uh, that they still apply here. And a unique thing about here also in St. Helena Island, the history is still here of who they were. And they have their own kind of language. It's kind of the Geechee Gullah language. And it was kind of established to help all the different tribes because they came from Africa, but they came from Ghana, from uh, Angola, and so forth. And that's where the Gola came from, and they kind of learned their own language, and they still speak it here today. And what's kind of unique about it is in this area, and especially here in uh, St. Helena Island, there's been uh, laws set up to protect the heritage here. As a matter of fact, on St. Helena Island, there can be no gated communities, no condominiums to keep the culture here in, in this part of the country. And it's kind of unique in how we, we did this as, as Americans. I mean, you look at different areas you have in Nagalia, in, in New York, in, in northern New Jersey, you have the Italians and uh, don't worry about it or forget about it, that area. Then you have up in the Boston area, a lot of Irish. That's St. Peter's City, but Jesus. And then, of course, in Chicago, you have a lot of the uh, Slavic countries and Poland. As a matter of fact, the second largest Polish city of, uh, is Chicago uh, over Walsall, Poland. So, but that's what this area is here. These are people that still keep their tradition here and, and still try to practice what they did. And, and it's, it's, it's a lot of grounds. I think it's about 50 acres here. And not only did they have the Penn School, and the Penn School was in existence till about uh, the middle 50s. And then at that time in South Carolina, a lot of the public education uh, was offering uh, education uh, for everyone. So what they did, they changed the school to the Penn Center. And I'm gonna kind of turn this around a little bit. You can just kind of see all the grounds here of, of this whole area and how it is still special uh, to the people here. And uh, if you ever come here to, uh, I guess, the coastal resort areas, whether it's Hilton Head or Charleston, one of the things that 
they did back in those days, and they still do today, very, very high quality. They make the sweet grass baskets, and uh, which are really, uh, really unique in this area. And they're very well made. They'll last generations. And uh, they, still, uh, they still do that today, a lot of the women. So let me kind of uh, turn this around here. Uh, this is a plaque, the Great Sea Island Storm. Killed, uh, killed more than uh, 2,000 people. 70,000 were just kind of left destitute. And you can see uh, Claire Barton of the American Red Cross set up a massive relief effort to uh, help the people here in these areas. And uh, that was in 1893. And it was the biggest one to hit this part of the, the state uh, since Hugo, 1889. Of course, the biggest, most devastating storm ever hit America was the uh, Galveston hurricane in 1900. That killed like 12,000 12, people. But again, here's the, uh, here are the grounds of the Penn Center. And uh, like I mentioned, there are still residents here that went to school here. Uh, and it's fun to hear their stories. And, and, and if I can, uh, I'm going to try if I can find someone who s still speaks Geechee Gullah. It's their own language, and it's uh, really cool. It's really neat. I've, I've heard it before, and I would like to see if I could find somebody uh, that, that, uh, that does that. So in any case, let me uh, keep uh, traveling around St. Helena Island and just see what else that we can see. So I will catch you later. I am standing on the grounds, the old former grounds of the Anglican Chapel of Ease, which was built in 1740. And this is where all the, I guess, the landowners and, and people came to worship on Sunday in this church. And again, this was a parish before we were even a country, when we were a colony. And uh, in 1886, there was a fire, brush fire, which caught the church and burned it down except for the uh, the structure here but this is where everyone uh, that came to worship and uh, whenever I come to places like this and see places like this I just I think of uh, I think of the history and what it was like then and someone could have been sitting right here and you know facing the altar or listen to the the preacher or the rector give a sermon about what's going on and uh, today in today's time and uh, back then and and I think about what they thought about during that time and what it was like in the in the weather and and back then as in so many churches especially in the south in South Carolina the members of a church they usually were buried on the church grounds and here's some uh, here's some tombstones right here and that's if you can see that Sarah Jenkins Pope she was a daughter. She died uh, in her sixth, uh, age 16 months. Golly day. It was just, uh, it was tough back in those days, survival was, because so many things that we take for granted here. But I just find it's interesting that uh, the Chapel of Ease is what it's called. And this is on the National Registry of, uh, of Buildings in America. So, and there's places like this all over, all over. South Carolina, which I find it's really, uh, really fascinating, really interesting. So let me keep moving around and, and uh, just see some of the special things here on St. Helena Island. Okay, I'm still on St. Helena Island, and I am in a place called Frog Moor. This is a community. How they got their name, I don't know. I guess they had more frogs than anybody else, but... Uh, uh, we got more frogs than you do. In any case, the name stuck. But what really stuck in this community, this is where the famous dish of Frogmore stew originated. A lot of people also call it uh, low country boil. But what's unique about Frogmore stew, and people have it all the time, it's shrimp, small potatoes, small little ears of corn, and sausage. And it is definitely a low country dish and uh, it's one of the best out there. So here we are in St. Helena's Island. 
uh, in a place called Frogmore, St. Helena. So I'm still looking to see if I can find someone who speaks the Geechee Gullah. And uh, just a unique place. So let's see what else that we can find. Still on St. Helena Island and all through the low country of South Carolina. And I stopped on one before at a different location. They have places like this. This is the Low Country Cider Company. A lot of roadside places that you can stop and, and get little treats, whether it's coffee or cider or just something good and something jellies or jams or something like that. So uh, I want to go in there and check it out and uh, see what they have to offer, see if we can get any smiles. i got to put my mask on, I believe. So uh, let's see what we can see in here. And there is the uh, front door. So I better get, better get my mask on right now. So let's go see what we can see in here in this neat little shop. Look at this. My goodness. Let me turn this around. I mean to tell you what. There's more jams and jellies and preserves and all that here than there is at the county fair. And I'd say half of them would probably win a blue ribbon. Kind of pan around here. I tell you what, I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I'm gonna see if I can somewhat take this off. I, I can never figure out how are you doing, sir? Can you see that over there behind me? <laughs> no way. No. Fine. This is a nice shop. Isn't this yeah, nice? Yeah. How y'all doing? How are you? Hey, ma'am. How are you doing? I am well, thank you. Great. Excuse me, I got nervous. My thing fell off. I'll put it back on here. I just wanted to... This is a neat little shop. There you go, sir. I just wanted to come in and see how neat and special this place was. This is cool. How long has this been here? Six years. Really? No, no, no. Four years, baby. I'm sorry. I need to get out more, I believe. <laughs> well, this is neat. Now, is there a, a certain time of the year that it's more busier than other times? Or summer. Summertime is? Yes, sir. Now, oh, this is cool. I was over there doing uh, the Penn Center and all that because mm -hmm. I have a YouTube channel. And cool. this is neat stuff. So, right, so you're going to broadcast us? Uh, yes, I am. What, what's us? your name? My name Tasha. Tasha, what's yeah, your name? Hi. Adrian. Adrian. Yes. Well, if you go to Silver Haired Traveler, Silver you will be on it. All right. It probably won't be posted on YouTube probably till, uh, well, so for sure tomorrow. So anyway, okay. but uh, listen, you'll have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Thank you. Sir. you too. Okay, gang. Bye bye. All right, y'all. Man, I tell you what, you'll have wonderful smiles even behind the mask. Oh, y'all <laughs> take care. Bye bye. How you, man? Isn't this neat? Like I said, there's just places like this all over. So, let me get rid of this mask. So, in any case, St. Helena Island. Again, thank you for being with me this morning on this extremely cultured, historical place of St. Helena. And uh, just great history. So, have a great day and, uh, and a great Thanksgiving. So, you take care.